Okay, I'm tearing down my Ruger 1022 for cleaning. Uh, fired about 150 rounds through this thing and haven't cleaned it. So that's one of the reasons I had to tear it down and see what kind of condition it was, how dirty it was after 150 rounds. Not a lot, really, but anyway, with the polishing of this thing that I've done. And after firing 150 rounds out of it, I am amazed at <laughs> how clean this is. I mean, I, you, you really don't see the carbon buildup. Again, the, the inside of this receiver I polished. And you can see a little bit of a black mark right here on the bottom. The whole inside had real heavy overspray like this. And I... Sanded it down, smoothed it all out, polished it, and then also I polished the bolt, as you can see, yeah, the glare. <laughs> but the whole, the whole bolt has been polished, and I haven't cleaned this yet. I just tore it apart. But I mean, there's there's almost like nothing. I mean, there, there's just absolutely no buildup on this thing. I, I can't believe it. I mean, you know 150 rounds is not a lot, but you would expect some kind of a a build up on it. But again, the the bolt has been polished, the inside of the receiver has been polished, the extractor it has been pulled out and polished, and also the groove that it rides in has been polished smooth. Uh, mainly just clearance issues. Making sure it's got plenty of room. If it does start getting gummed up, it'll still operate and run good. But I pulled out the the firing pin here also. See it right here. Pull the pin and slide it out of there with a spring. The firing pin has been polished. As you can probably see part of it through that groove there. Bad lighting, I know. But also the, the groove down where the firing pin runs, I polished that groove smooth also. And so when I put oil on this thing, it, it's got just a real light coat on it now, but when you put oil on it, this thing just, it, the oil runs off of it. And there's the, the bullet end, and you'd expect most of the buildup to be right there. But again, there's just nothing there. I'm impressed. Glad I spent all the time I did polishing this thing. It just it makes cleanup so easy, and evidently it keeps the the powder from building up on the gun too. Anyway, there we go. And then my trigger. Uh, I've got custom trigger. Uh, the magazine extractor, that's this thing down here, you drop it down, the magazine falls out. It used to be a little pin up here that was a pain in the ass to get to, really. So I put that little dude on there, and that, that's nice. And it's got a, is it a custom trigger job? It's a match trigger, two and a half pound pull weight. And the hammer... I've also, I've, I've taken and polished that hammer also. When I got it, this, this roll right here runs on the bottom of the bolt and it was real rough. But I've taken and just polished all that stuff up to make it smooth. And, and you can still see on the bottom of the bolt here where that, uh, there's just a little bit of a groove right there where it's not completely matched. You see the divot in the middle of the two grooves. That's saying it's not completely flat and smooth, but anyway, it's a lot smoother than what it was. And that when it rides, when it first got it, riding across this rough bolt here, and that rough hammer, you get, it felt like sandpaper rubbing. But I just smoothed everything out, and this this thing just absolutely runs smooth. But anyway, my tear down cleaning, and just impressed with the clean up on this thing. Anyway, enough for now.